everyone, this is Fantasy Esque, and welcome to Planet Zoo Wolfland, where we are following the Trident Pack as they survive, grow, and build a legacy. This is going to be a special series where we kind of keep track of these Arctic Wolves and see how they live a somewhat wild life in this huge reserve that I have uh, cordoned off for them. And obviously it can and will grow in the future. For now though, we have a pack of about five wolves and we are working with them in this area. The family has already been through a little bit of drama, which I'll be telling you guys all about in a second. I'll also introduce the five members we have going on, one of which is actually quite new. And then how we play things, how we're working things, and uh, the ranger section, which we call the village. So, okay. Look at this place, isn't it beautiful? Also, I have taken a lot of liberties with things like plants, um, because all of the ones here are currently, oh my goodness, why is that, why is there a box? Why is there a flipping box? I'm gonna deal with that, don't you worry. But uh, all the plants here are North American, I think, but these wolves are Arctic plants. It doesn't bother them, so I've left them in here. It's just um, that it's foreign. It's from a foreign continent, supposedly. So um, yeah, that might be a little bit problematic in terms of, like, it doesn't reduce their stats or anything, they're indifferent to it, but, uh, just for the game, the game gets annoyed that it's not from the flippin' continent, but we, we don't care, we ignore it. Okay, who's in here? Oh, this is the sheep? No, 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 no! <clears throat> no, can, can I not? Really? Really? You had to do that? You had to do that? See, when one of the sheep dies, I just like them to be so that the wolves can eat from them. But if these people are going to act like this, fine. Take, take, killed by Richie. Take it away. See, look, they were going to go eat from it. Ah, oh, darn it. I don't know why they did that, but I guess now someone has to come collect it. We can't have a flippin' box in the, in the, in the reserve. There we go. I was like, what am I calling this place? It is not an exhibit. Yes, but okay. Uh, this, guys, look at this. This brilliant place is Wolfland. So the area that we are going to be following the stories of our Trident Pack in, it has this huge winding river that snakes its way through, and we've got two den sites. One is over here, and look at that. Isn't that lovely? Which they seem to be using currently, and another den site is here. If you guys have name suggestions for these den sites, I would appreciate it very much. It's going to be a lot more fun for story if we can keep track of which den site they're going to uh, easily with like some names. Um, but yeah, also I've got a bunch of enrichment objects scattered around the place. I've tried to not have super modern looking ones just because I want this place to feel as wild as possible, but there's only so much we can get away with. Now, this area back here is called the village. It's the staff zone, so it's where we have all the quarantine stuff, the keeper huts, which is the ranger hut for me, and uh, the veterinarian clinics, zones, whatever else it is, staff rooms. This is where all our staff work, but again, they usually are not encouraged to come into the exhibit, and they're not encouraged to come into the reserve and do anything over here. They pretty much come in whenever they want. We don't have any zones assigned for them. They don't have to keep things clean, but I think they deal with the litter from time to time, and I don't even know if they feed the sheep. It doesn't seem as though they do, but they might. And if the wolves are super hungry and they haven't been hunting, then they leave out food over here. So we have that going on. We have that going on. This area over here is a teensy tiny guest zone, which I had to build because the game kept freaking out that the zoo wasn't open. So that's why I have it here, but we are pretty much ignoring anything these people say. Even the staff to some extent. We ignore them. We don't care what they want, okay? So even if, look at that, our guest needs a crap, don't care. Star ratings, crap, don't care. And uh, if we're not making a profit, because I'm playing on sandbox mode and we have unlimited funds and credits. So whatever they think doesn't really matter. But, uh, okay. Now, let's jump to the wolves. Now, I think I've pretty much said that, yes, we try and make this as well as possible. So uh, since I've set things up for them, whether the wolves live or die, it's completely up to them, and if they're lucky enough to survive, and if they're able to survive in this environment, I just want to follow their stories, but I won't be jumping in to call the vets on them, or save them anytime or all the time. I'm just going to leave them be. But I really want to see how they're going to grow, and the social dynamics within the groups, and also when they start reaching their limit, because I think they have a limit of, um, what is it? 
I think there's like a, a limit of eight for the Arctic wolves in a pack. And I'm wondering if they hit nine or if the number grows, then are they going to split and start off their own pack? We do have a lot of land. Now these wolves, let's go to the Zoopedia. The Arctic wolves, they need, it says minimum habitat requirements actually, uh, 1,162 square meters. And we actually have, hold on a second. Wait, where is it? <clears throat> 46,596 square meters. So we, we have a lot. We have a lot of land for them to uh, be in. So hopefully they shouldn't argue. And if they do, I'm wondering if the pack's going to split off and just stake an area of land for themselves. Not entirely sure. But they do seem to move between these two dens a, f a fair bit, actually, depending on where the food is, really. Um, but usually they all like to sleep together. And I'm seeing four in here and not the fifth one but again the fifth one was just recently put in so I don't know if she's found her way into the pack now let me go ahead and introduce the pack members to you so we have oh goodness gracious all the sheep are dying I'm gonna have to replace them we have the current alpha Jackson over here now Jackson our handsome boy Jackson he actually had another mate previously, so as you can see it's the ninth year, so these guys have pretty much been here for nine years and they've had almost a decade to establish themselves in this area. And Jackson has been the alpha that whole time. Now he had a mate by the name of Hadley beforehand, and they had one pup together. They had Richie over here. So, oh, looks like Danica found her way into the pack, but Richie is the only pup that's ever been born and he's an adult now but he's the only one that was ever born um, in Wolfland so far in this pack so we have them going on and after Hadley's death which she she kind of died of old age in this river which is really sad she was crossing and I think she didn't have enough strength and then she just drowned right in the middle there so she has been gone ever since then Elsie became the alpha female or um, Jackson's mate but the thing with Elsie is, as I said in the beginning, I think, she's infertile. So, um, yeah, she's infertile, meaning we will never have pups from her. And because she's already been chosen as a mate for um, Jackson, I don't think he's going to replace her. So we're going to have to wait until either Jackson passes or until Elsie passes to see who the next pair is going to be. And that's why I brought in Danica. Now, where is Danica? There we go. This is where Danica is. Danica's quite young. And she has quite a good fertility. Her size is a little bit on the smaller side. And her immunity, she's actually larger than Elsie, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, she's larger than Elsie. Elsie's a lot smaller. Her immunity is terrible, though. And I'm hoping that these healthy males might, you know, encourage and breed that out of her. But that's what we have going on so far. We're just going to have to see. It might even be wise for them to go and start their own pack. And I might even have to remove some of the wolves to encourage that. But... We're just going to have to see. I might be forced to remove Elsie. I don't know. I don't want to, but I just might have to so that the wolves can start having pups and actually get a proper mate. And Danica can have a chance or something like that. So I might have to take some drastic measures. I don't know. You guys let me know. Should we keep Elsie or do you think I should kind of get Elsie taken out so that we can go ahead and actually get Danica to become maybe the alpha female and we can have some puppies? I don't know. You guys let me know. Um, but that's what we have going on. I think, yeah, that might be about it. And apart from that, so that's the little family that I explained to you. But we also have, let's see, we have Dominic. Yep, Dominic and Danica. They're currently the subordinates. So they're in the pack. They're pack members. But they don't have mates because, as it says, they are a beta animal. So... They are not the breeding pair, therefore they will not breed. So that's Danica and Dominic, everyone. Now, as you can see, we have quite a bit of elder wolves. So Elsie is currently an elder. So is Dominic and Jackson because they were the first wolves to come in. Now, Richie and Danica are quite young compared to the others. Um, so I don't know. That might be a thing in the future. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But that's essentially what we have going on. But I am going to be back in a in a second, guys, so we can continue with them and see what they get up to. They're so cute. Look at our handsome boy over here. This is Jackson, our alpha male, of course. But uh, 
I don't know if I've mentioned this already, we're going to constantly keep getting um, predation notifications that, you know, the predators are hunting the prey in this habitat, but we don't have to worry about that. We'll ignore that because, again, this is supposed to be a bit of a wild experience. So we, we pretty much let these wolves do what they want. They hunt. Oh, yeah, I did have to put in some sheep, didn't I? So I'm going to have to get some sheep. And pretty much the only time I'll try and help these wolves out because I want to see what they do and how they go through life and build their own legacy and maybe you guys can help me come up with some pretty awesome stories for these different wolves, give them personalities and bring them to life. But um, I think that, uh, yeah, I'll kind of let them be unless they need help with population. Only then I'll jump in. But uh, guys, make sure to let me know. Do you think Elsie should stay or should I remove her from the packs so that another female that's fertile can come in and t have a chance. But, uh, cause currently Jackson here, he's gonna be faithful to his mate, even though she's infertile. Not entirely sure if he knows that, but, uh, yeah. I think they've tried to mate once, but then I saw her stats and I was like, oh crap, she actually is infertile. But, uh, okay, let's jump in and add some sheep, because we need some sheep. Now, Initially, I wanted to have somewhat more of a naturalistic setting where I have the prey animals that these guys would hunt in real life, but they hunt foxes and hares. The game doesn't have those, at least not as far as I'm aware. So I had to just get in a herbivore from their continent, and the closest thing I could find was a, a doll sheep, so that's why I have them. But okay, let's go to animal trading. Give me the doll sheep. Okay, where are they? They will be right down here. There we go. So we'll just add in a bunch of sheep. Okay, I'll adopt you, I'll adopt you. And you, and you. And all of you will be sent to the zoo. There we go. And let's go to storage. Who did I just pop in? I don't even know who I popped in. Um, let's send you. We're gonna pop all of these guys in here. I think two females and two males. I would love for my sheep to be able to breed. I don't know if they're super stressed or what it is. They just don't want to breed. Like, come on guys, why don't you want to breed? The wolves are doing absolutely fine. To an extent, I, I think. So, yeah. But as I said, these notifications guys, ignore them. They don't matter. And uh, a lot of these ones, like if there's a death notification and there's a predation one, we're going to ignore those as well. Unless, of course, it's about a wolf that's died. We need to pay attention to those things. But apart from that, really, we'll just let these buds do whatever they want. It's their area, their territory. And look at how lovely it is. The seasons change as well, change from time to time, so that's super cool to look at. But who's down here? Is this Danica? Okay, Danica's here. Where is my boy Jackson? There we go. Hello, Jackson. He's so pretty. Hold on a second. Are his eyes... Jo oh, wait a second. I don't know if it's the light or what. Okay, these are his eyes. They're like a... Oh, like a dark, sort of darkish color. He is quite big, though. I think he's the biggest wolf we have. Maybe his son is the same size as him, but the other two, Dominic's, I think, are quite a bit smaller, and so is Elsie. They're a lot smaller. But, uh, okay. Jackson, where's Richie? I want to find Richie, because I want to see his eye color. Mm. Richie. Okay, guys. Is it me, or does Richie have lighter eyes than his father? I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining things. It feels as though he might have a lighter eye color than his father. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe I'm imagining things. Probably when it was in the sun, it just seems lighter. But, uh... Where's he going? He's going to a different den site? Ooh. Ooh. I'm fairly sure that... I don't know how the game mechanics are going to work, but I'm fairly sure that these wolves kind of leave their parents once they're mature to have like their bachelor group so find their own mates and make a pack but i don't know they're kind of being happy just in the parents pack for now so i guess that's okay and nobody's really ever wanted to leave 
which is fine, but maybe things will get spicy once we actually have um, a, a bigger population. Isn't this where Danica came in? Hmm. Yeah. I mean, that would be very fascinating. Are you gonna, are you gonna sleep here with Danica? Yeah. Look at him. He's so adorable. He's such a handsome boy. Are you gonna rest here with Danica? Are you going to? I love these little caves. They're so cozy. The little dens. I mean, it's a huge den, but I love it. It's so nice. No? Maybe he just came to check up on Danica. He checked up on her, and now he's gonna go do his own thing. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You can just trot on up and do what you want. Do whatever you want. Okay. What about the others? Let's see if we can check up on someone else. What about Dominic? How's Dominic going? Dominic's sleeping in the den. Yeah. Aww. Is he an elder now? Yes, he is. So, we're gonna have some... Uh, a lot of these wolves actually getting quite old, so they might pass soon, and then we might have a change in leadership, which is probably gonna be good for us. Now, I can't see Elsie. Where is Elsie? Let's go find her. Elsie, where are you? Oh, that was Elsie he was checking up on. Never mind. He was checking up on the alpha female. Okay, Elsie, she just became an elder. She does have a bit left till her death. Now, the thing I'm worried about is if Jackson passes away, which Jackson is... Oh, he's hungry. He's very close to death. If Jackson passes away, I'm kind of sad. Not sad, scared. Well, I will be sad. But I'm also scared that um, Richie or someone else is going to take Elsie as a mate. And Elsie actually has zero fertility. So that's not going to be good for us. If that does happen, I might have to remove her as a member of this pack, just so the other female that we have can get a chance. Hmm. Otherwise, things might get a little bit dangerous. Uh, but, guys, ah, if you want to keep track of the Trident Pack and their story, then please, please, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. That way you can keep getting notifications every time I pop out a video of these guys, which I'm sure you guys will want to see. I mean, look at these beautiful wolves. Them and their stories. Who knows what they're going to come up with, what's going to happen, how this place is going to grow and change. <laughs> It's going to be amazing. And also the legacies they have in terms of their puppies and whatever else, their relationships. It's going to be so much fun. But also, if you do enjoy this video or if you enjoyed this video, then please go ahead and leave a like. That's going to support me so much and let YouTube know that this is a fun video and more people should definitely watch it. Also, if you want to, you know, pitch in for any of the things that I asked you guys about, then feel free to jump down in the comment section as well. You can let me know. Um, what to call these two den sites I have, name suggestions for them, even for the wolves, future pups, future members of the pack. You can let me know all of those things. Uh, but guys, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.